da 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 Pew pew! Inexpensive arms, more pew, less money! Welcome to Inexpensive Arms, my name's Steve, and today we're going to be reviewing the Bear Creek Arsenal AR-15 barrel. Uh, this time though, it's an 8.5 inch 300 blackout with a pistol length gas system, 1 and 8 twist. It is nitride treated. And the profile is actually a very, very nice profile. This is a what uh, Bear Creek Arsenal calls their mid-weight barrel. Um, so it's not a heavy profile up until you get to the gas block like most 300 blackout barrels are. It's actually a very nice tapered uh, barrel. And if it looks familiar, it's because this barrel is actually the barrel that I used when I did my how to taper pin a gas block to a barrel video. So the more you know. So these days, 300 blackout barrels are kind of a dime a dozen. Uh, but in this case, you might actually be able to spend a dime and get a dozen of these things. Almost. <laughs> uh, I bought two of these actually a couple of months ago when they went on sale. And they're still technically on sale, but for a little bit more. I think they're about $47 right now on Bear Creek Arsenal's site. With, uh, I think, free shipping for a couple more days. Um, but why should you care? Well, I actually paid $35.20. I bought two, two, so I wound up paying $70.41 uh, a couple of months ago shipped to my door so it's really 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 hard to uh compete against a 35 dollar 35 dollar 20 cent uh 300 blackout barrel i don't think there's anywhere else in the united states where you can buy a 35 dollar 300 blackout barrel with these particular specifications uh, for anywhere near the same price all right but enough talking more testing here we go when I was out at the range, I didn't quite realize how bad the uh, wind was distorting the audio, so I'm going to very briefly go over uh, what I used to test this particular barrel. First up, we have uh, Australian Outback 144 grain supersonic ammo. Next up is Hornady Black 110 grain VMAX supersonic ammo. Next up is American Eagle 150 grain full metal jacket supersonic ammo. Next up, Remington 120 grain supersonic ammo, Remington 220 grain subsonic ammo, and lastly, Arms Corps 147 grain supersonic ammo. And, you know, I'm a little bit irritated at myself because I actually have a Remington match load at home that I forgot. I thought it was in my bag, and when I got out to the range, I realized it wasn't. So, apologies. Um, I would have liked to see what it could have done through this barrel. I think I could have tightened up some groups a little bit more. But regardless, I think across the broad spectrum of ammo, we got to see what this barrel is capable of for accuracy and what you can realistically expect. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, range conditions, as noted previously, it was sunny, but uh, the, the wind was gusting maybe 15 miles an hour or so occasionally. Uh, and it died down. Not enough to really affect anything, but enough to uh, be noticeable and definitely distort the audio. So the testing consisted of five round groups from each of the loads mentioned. And I'm not going to bore you too much, but I also did a nine round uh, test just with a red dot, which I had previously mounted on there. And I had one extra box of the out, uh, Australian Outback Supers, and I, I did that with it. Uh, spoiler, it wasn't a super great group. It was, you know, about a four MOA group. Nothing, nothing terrible. Again, keep in mind, we're talking this is a red dot. This is an eight and a half inch barrel. And it's really, really hard with an arm brace to get a good shooting position. <laughs> so... You know, take everything that you see here with a grain of salt. Alrighty, so thoughts. Um, for starters, this barrel is perfectly gassed. When I say perfectly gassed, I mean I really do mean perfectly gassed. There's a lot of uh, barrels this size um, or thereabouts that will shoot just fine with supers and cycle just fine with supers, but they won't cycle subs without a suppressor. Um, this barrel is actually very, very gentle, even with supers, and it has just enough oomph to cycle it with subs, lock back on an empty magazine. I didn't have any problems whatsoever, had zero malfunctions, and that's even with uh, a kind of a sticky mag that I had out there as well. It wasn't the greatest mag, but still absolutely no problems. I was thoroughly impressed with this, very, very happy with how it shot, and uh, you know, without further ado, let's take a look at some of the results of the target. All right, so first up we had the Australian Outback 147 grain supersonic ammo, and I uh, got a 4.4 inch group on that. 
nothing that great and uh, I was actually surprised because typically uh, and that's what I've almost shot exclusively for the last couple of range trips and it shot a little bit better than that so I, I know it is capable of better than that at least in the three three and a half inch range but I was still settling in with the bags and everything else so you know keep that in mind uh, next up the Hornady Black 110 grain got a 4.9 inch group and uh, it was actually only uh, about an inch and a half inch group if you don't count that flyer I, I definitely did pull that one um, I claimed that one when I shot it the uh, the problem was I had a bag that was kind of slowly disintegrating there the muzzle <laughs> the muzzle was actually sticking out not quite far enough to clear the bags because the barrel was so short and so I was shredding the uh, the sandbag as I was shooting and so I was shifting around a little bit and I, I definitely readjusted for that particular shot uh, next up we had the uh, American Eagle 150 grain supers and I got about a three and a half inch group and it's pretty much on par with about what I expected with it Next was the Remington 120 grain supersonic ammo. This is the stuff you can find in pretty much any Walmart in America. Well, any Walmart before a week or two ago anyways. But I uh, got a 2.2 inch group on that. I was reasonably happy with that. Uh, next was the Remington 220 grain subsonic ammo. And I, I knew this ammo was going to drop, but I didn't realize that it was going to be this much lower than uh, all the other <laughs> all the other shots. So if you look all the way down at the bottom of the target, we had a 3.4 inch group and that belongs all the way. That was my point of aim was that, uh, that orange circle. So it was pretty interesting. And then lastly, we had the arms core 147 grain full metal jacket ammo. I got a 5.6 inch group with that. I was not expecting much from that ammo and I was not disappointed. Um, I've always heard it was pretty crummy ammo, just bulk blasting ammo. And uh, I figured I'd try it because it was so cheap. That was the cheapest ammo out of the group. I think it was $9 for a box. So I figured I would try it, and I uh, got exactly what I paid for. All right, so let's talk conclusions. Uh, first of all, would I buy it? Hell yeah, <laughs> I did. I bought two of them. Uh, I paid $35, guys. You can still find them for $47 on Bear Creek Arsenal. This weight, this profile, it's so pointable. It's relatively light for the size. It's so portable. You get a decent powder burn inside it, you know, that eight and a half inch barrel, and it's reasonably accurate. It's not the most accurate barrel out there, but as you saw with the Remington Supers, it's capable of about a two inch group. I think it's capable of more than that once it's fully broken in. But again, this is a inside 200 yard barrel. It's just not meant to reach out much past that. Yes, you could shoot further than that. Yes, there are some guys that do it. But realistically, if you slap a red dot on a pistol build like this, this is probably going to be an inside 75-yard uh, type build. And for something like that, this is a perfect mix of price, performance. Uh, you get just enough velocity to make it worthwhile and make it effective. And I'd say buy this barrel all day long. So hopefully any of you tightwads out there that are contemplating putting together a cheap 300 pistol build... Uh, buy this barrel. I, really, it's a great barrel. I'm super, super happy with it. It's probably the best Bear Creek Arsenal barrel I've uh, had an experience with so far. So hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, in the meantime, if uh, for some reason my channel disappears, I back up everything on BitChute. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, thanks, guys. Keep your dick in a vice. Just as good. Results shown, not typical. User experience may vary. Please consult your local manufacturer.